Hello and welcome, my name's Chuck, I'm Old Man Tarot. I do daily tarot readings and every day we ask the cards, what are our opportunities for today? This is going to be reading for Saturday, February 26th, Saturday, February 26th. What are our opportunities for today? I do daily readings, if you like what you see, please do like and subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, you won't miss any of our exciting daily readings. Let's see what the cards have to say for Saturday, February 26th. First card for the day... Six of Cups. Six of Cups indicates that we're reminiscing early in the day, thinking about the past. Uh, we usually look at the past with rose-colored glasses, think of all the good things that happened. We tend to romanticize the past uh, and not remember all the daily grind and all the other nonsense that went along with the past. So it's good to look at the past. It's good to think about the past. It's good to learn from the past, but don't sit there and try to remember that everything in the past was perfect because it wasn't. We just look at it that way. Uh, don't make your current decisions based on your romantic fantasies about the past. But it's fine to think about the past and enjoy it and, you know, have a fun thinking about it. Just don't, just realize that a lot of this is fantasy and not current life. Uh, second card is the Two of Rods. Two of Rods indicates we've done well so far. We've taken some actions towards our passions. Uh, but we're, our, we're kind of at a crossroads here. we got to decide which way to go. Um, and that's, we're kind of stuck right now. We're not sure we have uh, many opportunities. All the directions are open, but we're just not sure where to go. Um, you know, we need to uh, think about where we're going, where we want to be, uh, what our passions have been so far, and try to follow the road that leads us towards uh, more of those passions. Third card for the day is the Five of Rods. Five of Rods indicates there's some friendly competition uh, midway through the day. Uh, this is a friendly competition, usually with a friend or a competitor, uh, but everyone's happy. Uh, everyone's smiling. They know this is nothing serious. Uh, even the cat's looking in on it, and he's happy. So uh, if there is some friendly competition, do your best to win, but don't take it too seriously. Remember, it is friendly competition. You don't have to win everything to make strides forward in your life. Uh, this card can also represent some minor hassles midway through the day. Uh, we all have days when, when that happens. Fourth card for today is the Eight of Rods. Uh, later in the day, this is a fast-moving message that's going to come in. This message is going to stir your passion. Uh, we're going to want you, you're going to want to take action on this, but this is fast-moving. Uh, it comes in quickly, kind of out of the blue. You, got, you are going to have to reach reach for this message. Once you get it, you're going to want to take action because uh, this message stirs your passions up. Last card of the day, the High Priest. This is also the Hierophant and some other decks. The High Priest says if we're part of a large organization, like an educational organization or a church or something along those lines, the High Priest tells us that, that we should be fitting in, we should try to conform with that organization, and we can we should do uh, whatever's in our power to help that organization succeed. Um, we do that, uh, according to this card, by fitting in, uh, by uh, you know embracing the, the traditions of the organization and advancing those traditions towards the new members and towards the future. That's it for Saturday. We spent early in the day looking through some rose colored glasses at the past. I think, uh, you know, when we think about the past too much, it hampers our decisions, decision making process in the future. We tend to think about the past romantically and not remember all the bad things that happened. Midway through the day, I think we're get stuck with some friendly competition. Uh, this is fine. Friendly competition is good and inspires us and it gets our passions going. Uh, we also get a uh, fast-moving message late in the day that's also going to get our passions going. Once we get this message, we're going to want to take action. Uh, this could involve uh, some travel, some immediate travel plans, or uh, some type of action that requires immediate action. Late in the day, uh, we have the feeling that uh, we need to fit into a large group that we're involved in. By fitting in, we can help advance this group, help uh, inspire new members, and help move this group successfully into the future. That's it for Saturday. My name is Chuck. I do daily readings. If you like what you see here, then we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.